another place where there's panic stations obviously is well Sunday night football this week as well it's going to happen but New England <laughs> well played I'm so happy that we said on last week's show that if the New York Jets are to win a game this year it'll be against <laughs> New England because we called it we called it I'm glad that like jeez oh my glad I wish that it was on my record that I called the Jets last week mm-hmm. but you know in terms of playing for a winning record at the end of the year and our picks, which you can obviously see on our Twitter pages, that, oh man, like that was worrying from the New England pages the other day. And what really struck me with the game was Cam Newton's face throughout the performance. Like mm-hmm. he's known as a happy, bubbly, cocky quarterback who's always kind of, you know, like it almost winds you up as a spectator watching it you must be that must be so irritating to play against this guy that just knows or thinks that he's better than you and then he's throwing the ball over your head and for touchdowns that when I saw him the other day it looked like his confidence was gone I mean it did come back after the game he's doing some interviews and that like that or sorry he's doing some interviews but like yeah that's worrying for me because Mm -hmm. There's nothing on that roster other than Cam Newton on the offense, really. I mean, injuries and all, Nikhil Harry and stuff out, Julian Edelman, that he has to be even better. He has to be Russell Wilson-esque in his team, you know, to elevate them. And it's not happening. And it hasn't happened since he came back from COVID. Mm-hmm. So it was a really unimpressive performance from New England. And I'd worry against him going against Baltimore, who played in the second half against the Colts last week as kind of a, gave an, us an insight into what they could be. They could return to some kind of form. I, I guess I, I'm saying I got quite confident watching Baltimore the other day. We had picked against one another in that game. Mm-hmm. And even though I like Indianapolis, they didn't look like the same team when it came down to the, the stretch in that game. And Baltimore easily dealt with them, you could say. So I think they turned a corner, Baltimore, and playing against New England now on prime time is exactly what they need to show to people that haven't been following the league too intensely mm-hmm. they'll be fooled if uh, Baltimore comes out and just has this remarkable game and Lamar Jackson is clicking and I think it could happen that's uh, New England is just playing so poorly that Baltimore could tee off on them and then have the national media talking again <laughs> 